All right, <clears throat> welcome to Gliders 2.0. This is our first module that we'll be doing. Uh, I just wanted to give you kind of an overview of some of the buttons and things we'll be pushing, all right? Um, research, this is where we're gonna do that, uh, your favorite part where we do all that reading and taking those notes. And then we move on to engineering, competition, outputs, and build and test. So we got engineering, competition, outputs. You're gonna be going back and forth between these things for the next few days, all right? So remember, we spent a couple days doing research. Then we got uh, a few days going in between these three, which I'm gonna get into. And then build and test is that portion where we build our physical model, right? So if you click on engineering, it's gonna take you to this blank blue screen. Never mind, mine is not blank right now because I was working on something. Now it's blank. Um, and this is where I'm gonna get into talking about all the different buttons up here that you see, all the different buttons over here that you see, and some down here, and there's more over here. So, um, it's gonna be kind of a disjointed video. It's my first one ever doing on this uh, screencast thing, so it's a little awkward and I'm not, I'm not writing anything down, I'm just kind of going with it. So, hopefully it's not too disjointed, but uh, this is the start. So, as you see up top, you see all these things, right? So home, research, that's how you get back to the reading. Let's say you're working on something. Uh, Let's say you forgot what fuselage meant or, or how why it's important okay you can go back into the research and look for an area where you might see something about the fuselage okay um or whatever piece you know whatever piece you're working on if you don't know what a vertical stabilizer is because you read too fast through the reading go back through and you can read about it through this area okay anyway so you can go back research engineering competition this area is where you kind of test out a um, you test out your plane. We're just gonna take something from last year. I don't even know. Let's just do this and um, this one. I'm gonna start. And this is a, a way for you to um, it's a way for you to analyze your design. Okay, and you can compete with anybody in your particular class period, or you can compete with anybody in anybody in our school really and, and sometimes we do competitions throughout the district and you can compete with um, students from other schools which is kind of fun um, so these two are pretty good and right here you see our results unfortunately they are out of spec but they did get an awesome flight time so um, without being logged into their thing I don't know exactly what it is that they're out of spec on but um, Anyway, that's how you can kind of test out and see how well your glider is going to fly. All right, so again, engineering, we've got research, we've got competition, and then we have this outputs, okay? Super important area, okay? You're gonna be going from engineering to outputs to engineering to outputs a lot. And the reason being, when you go to design specs, so sometimes I'll be like, hey, your, your glider is not in spec or your mousetrap car is not in spec, what does that mean? That means you need to be within a certain range of specifications, all right? Um, right now, uh, it's summer and I haven't really set all this stuff up, but you, you're gonna have a whole bunch of minimum requirements and then a whole bunch of maximum requirements and you need to be within those, okay? So you got your minimums, your maximums, and then it's telling you over here what your glider is set at. So right now, our wing when flattened okay our wing length is is too long okay we don't have a minimum which you normally will but just there's nothing here right now um but your maximum is set at 302 so right now you're at 302.15 millimeters so you know we would have to go back into our engineering and i'll show you in a second how to do that or i guess i'll just do it now whatever um I need to come here and just shrink this down. I gotta bring the true length down. So I'm bringing my wingspan down. Um, that should, if I go back to outputs, that should put me in out of the red, and it did. Okay, so technically I'm in spec. That doesn't mean though that my glider is gonna be the best. It just means that I've met the minimum requirements 
for me to compete in the competition okay so um that is that let's see all right so we got engineering competition we have outputs which again is where we are going to be looking for our design specs constantly going back between engineering and outputs okay and then build and test this is um this is when we build stuff physically so we got um sometimes these these tutorials for building are trash to be honest um so sometimes we'll use these and sometimes i'll just have a separate set of instructions for you so it just depends on depends on the uh particular project that we're working on okay so those are some of those buttons and um there's some cool things down here um you have a rotate button which you can when you click on it uh, it's going to turn orange and then you can rotate and see um your your plane or whatever you know project we're working on you can see different angles of it which is pretty neat when you're trying to design something um you gotta unclick that to stop it from rotating i would suggest resetting it just so it gets back to its normal you know thing all right <clears throat> so some of some other um buttons that you're going to want to get used to are going to be up here in this top section journal is important after you start making a bunch of design iterations meaning when you've got multiple um, changes that you've made to your project you can always go back into your engineering log and you can see all the times that you tested it out in the competition so every time you save and go to competition it'll it'll mark um, you can find your best you can find your worst you can find whatever you're trying to look for if you if you know that you made a better design and you went and changed something and you're like oh man like now my glider is terrible it's trash it's falling straight to the ground we'll go back into remember we clicked on journal so if you mess something up you can go to the journal go to engineering logs and then you can find whatever design iteration that you want to use okay and then if you look over here it tells you the flight time so like sometimes it's hard to tell which one you know some of them are real close so um, this one's 7.87 this one's 8.22 so obviously like the one I want to go back and use is my design iteration um, revision 7 okay so it's just telling me and this will get you know this is kind of overwhelming but this will get um, you'll get used to this right so anyway there is a way the point of me showing you this right now even though it's overwhelming is to let you know that even though if you mess something up you can always go back and as long as you save it you can always go back into your journal and into your engineering logs and then you can find your best one Okay, so don't don't ever worry about thinking you're gonna mess something up. You can always go back and fix it. All right, another one is um, you know file you're gonna be using all the time because you got to save. So um, let, let me actually clear out. Um, let me just go back to or engineering so I can see this screen again. All right, so file is you know if you want to start brand new, you can start. Um, you can you can save what you know like you're gonna use this all the time save you know blah 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 and then you can save a working copy or save and enter competition okay um so sometimes you're just in the middle of doing something you just want to do a quick save you don't want to go through the whole competition thing then just do a working copy but anytime you want to go and and try your glider out in the competition area you're gonna always have to go and push save save and enter competition okay um and then obviously open and look at these these are the ones i've made just randomly okay so uh another thing super important and i'm going to tell you to go here all the time okay I'm, I'm gonna try to make um a video for each one of these things um but you know if i got time then i'll do it but i'm gonna try to do it anyway in this area um you're, you've got your user interface tutorial. This isn't all of them. This is basically what I'm doing. I'm just walking you through what the different areas are. Okay. So you don't, you're probably not ever really going to use this part. Okay. But, um, the design tutorial, 
the analysis, like these things are specific to the project that we're working on. So right now we're working on gliders. So each one of these things is specific to gliders. It, you know, the next thing we do, I think, is mousetrap cars. And so this little area is gonna be specific to mousetrap cars. So it's super helpful. Um, you know, obviously I'm in class, I'm there to help. Uh, but sometimes, you know, you got 35 kids in the room and it's tough to kind of get everybody's individual questions. So I'm, I'm always going to direct you to, um, to these areas if you're having trouble. Okay. Um, so make sure you're doing these. Um, so basically what it's doing is it'll walk you through. It'll tell you, you know, uh, under the design section, click the fuselage wing horizontal stabilizer and vertical stabilizer icons, the eyeballs, okay, to display the glider. So it's showing you that if I click the fuselage and I click the wing and the horizontal stabilizer and the vertical stabilizer, that things are gonna show up, okay? And then it's gonna direct you to say, all right, click the fuselage. Um, oh, so it's just showing you that it, it wants you, so it's just showing you what these eyeballs do, okay? So, um, Oh, it wanted you to leave the wing, so whatever. Leave the wing up. And anyways, as you just go through this, it'll it'll show you, you know, in the design section, uh, select wing, um, the wrench, display the work area. And so now you have this area where you can manipulate these dots. And obviously everything that you're doing is gonna affect the wing design, okay? Um, can change the wing shape. I mean, I know it's not saying that right now, but there's a lot of things you can do, right? But the, the help section is gonna walk you through step by step. It's not gonna give you like the best glider. It's just gonna show you in a more detailed way how to kind of use these tools over here because it can be kind of overwhelming. So like I said, this is a very helpful section. It doesn't take that long to go through, maybe like five to 10 minutes total. And then you got a better understanding um, without having to raise your hand and ask me to come over or whatever you can kind of do it on your own. Okay, so um, Definitely got to do the the help section super important. All right, so uh, Let's see let me clear some of this off All right, so that was my I guess brief overview of kind of what what these buttons do um you know, I didn't really get too much into this design portion and I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a separate video for that. But this one was just kind of because it's our first project, um, I, I, I wanted to because it's overwhelming. I wanted to touch on uh, what the basics of like what these things do. All right. So hopefully you got a little bit a better understanding of of the the interface and, and all these buttons and what to do. Um, it, as we go through the modules and these projects, you're going to get like really comfortable with this. And so I'm not going to probably make another video about what these buttons up here do. I mean, that would be redundant. I don't want to do that for every video. Um, so I think probably what I'll do is make one that, uh, walks you through the help section. I'm probably not going to do that for every single module, but I'll do that for this one. And then I'm then I'll probably also make a video of me just building one and kind of just walking you through um, like talking out uh, speaking out loud about what I'm doing and that should at least help you kind of get on your way to feeling more comfortable with this whole um, white box learning digital design portion.